Hey guys, um, what's up? Today, um, well, <laughs> first of all, I want to show you what I'm recording on. It's kind of funny. I found uh, my flip box and I found an Amazon package outside my door. Ergo, Christmas presents. So I'm not going to open it because that'd be a dick move and I don't want to do that. So what I want to talk about, sorry if I have to like bend over to talk, but I actually want to talk about something kind of, uh, intellectual, smart, something like that, and give me two seconds, two, one, I don't know. Um, I've been reading this book, The Runner, for my English class. Um, if you haven't heard of it or read about it, I advise you do so. Reason being, it's because it's one of the books where I read and I don't get which is rare, and that means it's a good book. <laughs> I'm serious, it's a really, really good book, to be honest. Um, I think it's brilliant. Um, I'm not going to go into detail, but it's basically this like mysterious kid who runs. It was on a track team and runs. It's about his life, and so forth and so on. I won't bore you with the details. But it's very intriguing. And I just read the chapter where he accidentally shoots his dog or sister's dog or something and ironically his name is Bullet it's funny because he he doesn't show emotion throughout the story and here he finally starts to feel sadness and grief granted it's a dog I would feel sorry if JD died of course I would I would be devastated but he gets into this theory of himself boxing in. His life is boxed in by his father, who controls his life and tries to, at least, and manipulates it in his way. But Bull doesn't think that. And it kind of reminds me of, well, not me. I just think deep. I'm a deep thinker. Um, and Bullet is just, uh, what you call it, just some kid who doesn't, who's very neutral. Very, very, not in depth, I would say, just, uh, something. I would say that I, I'm a deep thinker, and I, and when you think about that, it kind of gave me this theory, or, uh, an, an, an idea about a theory where your mind is like a whole, and the more things devastating and devastating that happen in your life, the more and more and more they eat away. At your mind now under the kindness of my dog we can see this globe eating up now um you guys may be wondering what's it for the purpose of this globe is that pretend if it was whole it was your mind you start off as a baby with a new fresh mind now as you go through life you get tearing away and get cuts and scratches and it gets deeper and it just goes less and less, and this is your mindset stability. Now, my mindset is probably, let's just say, in my mindset, like the entire outer casing has been torn off, and I'm left with just, uh, it's still a ball, but it's a much smaller ball. What I'm trying to say is, over the course of my life, I've dealt with things that normal people have probably not dealt with. I'm not going to say that for sure, because I don't want to sound like a, what you call it, the um, attention-whoring bastard, but, um, and that's not what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to make a point. The point being is that my new theory is called, like, uh, capacity theory, yes, in which the more and more someone, and it's pretty much proven, I, I mean, it's not like a new thing, but I'm just making a name for it, it's where... The more and more traumatic events occur in your life, the more and more stability you lose. As you guys may know, I'm kind of sketchy in some of my videos, and I'm sorry if the box is moving and it's kind of giving you a sketchy look. Um, but that's just it. And... Shit. <laughs> sketchy. I have bad, like, coordination skills. I don't know, just a life skill. Um... And I gotta say that it sucks. 
having just kind of being sketchy and thinking differently and you know you deal with it but I don't know it's confusing but anyway yeah, that's just what I want to talk to you it's the conspiracy or it's the capacity theory the fact that the more that you start out is I hope you guys know what I'm talking about as I can say I stumble I sketch and yeah so that anyway guys um that's basically it and I hope you take I hope you take this into account um and if you like to want to read this book pick it up um it's very good well anyway guys that's it thanks for watching and give me your thoughts and ideas about the capacity theory Thanks out. Thanks, and uh, I'll see you some other time. Or if you guys are new to watching this and do you think this would be cool, then sure. Peace out.